Time moves forward. It's a simple truth we experience daily. We see coffee cool, objects break, and people age. This forward march of time, its unidirectional flow, is what we call the arrow of time. Sir Arthur Eddington, a renowned astrophysicist, first coined this term in 1927. He recognized that time, unlike space, seemed to have a preferred direction. Eddington likened the arrow of time to an arrow piercing through the heart of physics. It presented a fundamental enigma. While the laws of physics work the same forwards and backwards, our experience of time is distinctly asymmetrical. This asymmetry, this relentless forward flow, became known as the arrow of time. Eddington's insight opened up a profound question. What is the source of this arrow? What dictates this forward march of time? The answer, as we'll discover, lies in exploring various facets of our universe. One of the most intuitive explanations for the arrow of time comes from thermodynamics, the science of heat and energy. The second law of thermodynamics postulates that the entropy of a closed system always increases. Entropy, simply put, is a measure of disorder or randomness. Think of a cup of hot coffee. As it cools, its heat dissipates into the surrounding environment, increasing the overall disorder. This process is irreversible. You won't see a cup of coffee spontaneously heat up by absorbing ambient heat. This irreversibility is a hallmark of the thermodynamic arrow of time. It suggests that time flows in the direction of increasing entropy. From a cosmic perspective, the Big Bang, the event that birthed our universe, started from a state of low entropy. As the universe expands and evolves, entropy continues to increase, driving the arrow of time forward. Amidst our journey from the warmth of a coffee cup to the vastness of the cosmos, let's delve into a captivating concept, perpetual motion. Imagine a machine that once started would run forever without any energy input. This idea, though alluring, clashes with the laws of thermodynamics. The first law, the conservation of energy, states that energy in a closed system remains constant. It can neither be created nor destroyed, only transformed. The second law, as we've seen, tells us that entropy or disorder always increases in an isolated system. Here lies the paradox. A perpetual motion machine would need to maintain constant energy without ever increasing entropy, a scenario that defies our current understanding of physics. This illustrates why attempts to reverse the arrow of time are not just challenging but border on the impossible. It also subtly underscores the irreversible nature of time itself, echoing the thermodynamic and cosmological arrows that guide the universe's relentless march forward. As we transition from the micro to the macro, the concept of perpetual motion not only enriches our understanding of time's arrow, but also highlights the inherent limitations of our universe. It serves as a bridge connecting the tangible everyday phenomena with the abstract expansive forces that govern the cosmos. The universe is not static, it's expanding. Edwin Hubble's observations in the 1920s revealed that galaxies are moving away from each other. This expansion, a consequence of the Big Bang, provides another explanation for the arrow of time, the cosmological arrow. Imagine a film of the universe expanding. Now play the film in reverse. You'd see galaxies converging, collapsing into a single point, the Big Bang. This reverse scenario, while physically possible, feels unnatural. This is because the cosmological arrow of time, dictated by the universe's expansion, points towards a future of increasing volume and complexity. The cosmological arrow suggests that time flows in the direction of the universe's expansion. This expansion, much like the increasing entropy in a cooling cup of coffee, points towards a future distinct from its past. Our personal experience of time, our memory of the past and anticipation of the future forms the psychological arrow of time. We remember the past, but not the future. We can recall yesterday's breakfast, but not tomorrow's. This asymmetry in our perception of time is fundamental to our conscious experience. This psychological arrow is intricately linked to the thermodynamic arrow. The process of storing memories in our brains involves increasing entropy. Our brains, like the cooling cup of coffee, operate in a direction dictated by the thermodynamic arrow, shaping our perception of time. The psychological arrow, while subjective, reveals a profound truth about our existence. Our experience of time is unidirectional, shaped by the same physical laws that govern the universe. Can we turn back time? The arrow of time, as we've seen, points resolutely forward, but can we even hypothetically reverse this arrow? 
Could we witness a shattered glass reassemble itself or a cooled cup of coffee spontaneously heat up? While the laws of physics don't explicitly forbid time reversal, such scenarios seem improbable. The sheer number of particles involved in these processes makes reversing them statistically near impossible. Imagine trying to put back together a shattered glass by randomly shaking its fragments. The chances of success are astronomically small. While reversing time on a macroscopic scale seems unlikely, the story gets more interesting at the quantum level. Quantum mechanics, the physics of the very small, offers intriguing possibilities. Quantum time. A different direction? Quantum mechanics, the realm of atoms and photons, offers a unique perspective on the arrow of time. Here, the laws of physics are time symmetrical. A quantum process can unfold in reverse just as easily as it does forward. A single photon, for instance, shows no preference for a direction in time. This time symmetry in the quantum world seems at odds with our macroscopic experience of time. How can the arrow of time emerge from a world where time itself seems directionless? The answer, physicists believe, lies in the interaction of quantum systems with their environment. This interaction, known as decoherence, effectively breaks the time symmetry, giving rise to the arrow of time we observe in the macroscopic world. The enigmatic nature of time's arrow. Despite our understanding of the thermodynamic, cosmological and psychological arrows of time, the fundamental nature of this arrow remains a mystery. Why does time flow? What is the underlying mechanism that drives this relentless forward march? Some physicists believe the arrow of time might be a consequence of the initial conditions of the universe. The Big Bang, with its low entropy, might have set the stage for the arrow of time, much like winding up a clock sets it in motion. Others speculate that the arrow of time might be linked to deeper yet undiscovered laws of physics. These laws, unlike our current understanding, might explicitly incorporate the unidirectional flow of time. Time's unfolding mystery. The arrow of time, a concept first articulated by Sir Arthur Eddington, points to a fundamental truth about our universe. Time flows and it flows forward. From the cooling of coffee to the expansion of the universe, we see this arrow manifest itself in various forms. While we've made progress in understanding the thermodynamic, cosmological and psychological arrows of time, the ultimate source of this arrow, the fundamental mechanism that drives time's flow, remains an enigma. This mystery, however, is not a source of despair, but a source of wonder.